Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from 2 Samuel 7, verse 22. And it says, Therefore you are great, O Lord God, for there is none like you, nor is there any God besides you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. I repeat, Therefore you are great, O Lord God, for there is none like you, nor is there any God besides you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part says, therefore, you are great. Now, this scripture was a scripture um, which was written about King David primarily. And he was um, here, he was, um, God had a covenant with him. God was reaffirming his covenant with King David. And afterwards, um, David was giving thanks to God. So he said, therefore you are great. So is this an acknowledgement of God? He says, God is great because of um, all the awesome thing God has done in his life. First and foremost, God brought him out from a very humble background where he was a shepherd's boy and he was used to um, um, look after his flock in the deep forest, in the bush. And God brought him out and refined him and groomed him to the best of his um david's ability and made him the king first the king of judah and afterwards the king of israel and god had an everlasting covenant with david a covenant that pushed him forward a covenant that he bestowed upon him that drove david um all the days of his life and then coupled with the fact that david was a man after God's heart. David was a man that was obedient to God to the letter. So here he was saying, therefore you are great because of all God that done. He said he was acknowledging God to be great. He was acknowledging God to be awesome because God kept him alive in all his battles, in all his wars. God kept him alive. In the second he says, O Lord God, for there is none like you so here david was also acknowledging god he said there is none like you so he has set far and wide he has set into the depths of of his heart into the depths of of the physical realm which he sees he has set beyond his imagination such beyond his vision set beyond his sight set beyond his wildest dream and acknowledged god and said there is none like you that means there's no other god like jehovah nisi jehovah i am that i am the king of kings the creator of heavens and earth the only one true god the one that um parted the red sea through moses the miraculous god the god who is the father of jesus the god who is also the holy spirit that comes down to interact with us in person so he says for there is none like you he was acknowledging god then the third he says no is there any god besides you so there are many gods as we all know there are thousands of gods some some um the deities all over the place there are gods all over the place gods with a, a small g all over the place there are millions and millions of gods there are greek gods the asian gods the chinese gods and and the african gods and all sorts of gods which um have been mentioned and which we have experienced at one point in time but here david was saying no is there any god besides you that means no god can match the name, the ultimate Jehovah Nisi. No God can be beside him. No God can um, stand his presence. No God can stand the way God operates. No God can stand anything. So he says, no, is there any God besides you? There is no God besides Jehovah Nisi. Then he says, according to all that we have heard with our ears so according to all that he has heard according to all that he has experienced he hasn't seen any god that can stand beside 
Jehovah Nisi. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds and our hearts on this word that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word that we may be able to walk with it and run with it and ultimately we may be able to um, experience the greatness of God in all ramifications, in all that we do, in all our lives. All these I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless, God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.